Trump relied on a coalition and a core part of that coalition were racists yeah. building a coalition with all sorts of other people that could be susceptible to racist views if they were blanketed and layered and made people feel good about it not being a racist thing. Right. They dislike you because they see you as uh, an outspoken Latina mm -hmm. from the Bronx? Uh, I think it depends on who it is, but I think there are a lot of people in the Republican base and Trump's base and Fox News's base that have a visceral reaction to the color of my skin, that have a visceral reaction to my gender, um, and have a visceral, re visceral reaction to where I'm from. Um, we paper over the legacy of slavery. We paper over the legacy of Jim Crow. We paper over the genocide of Native American people and the establishment of this country. And as a result, we paper over the institutional racism. We paper over the fact that the Supreme Court upheld Japanese internment. If we don't actually discuss racism in a real way in this country, we're not going to move forward. Trump becomes president. And there's this debate about, you know, are Trump voters racist? And mm -hmm. clearly, you see the rallies, you see some of the stuff online, and there's racism there. And then I wonder, like, I, I don't necessarily want to vilify mm -hmm. people who vote for Trump, but at the mm -hmm. same time, you also need to call racism out. And I don't mm -hmm. know how, even beyond Trump, I don't know how we ever sort of piece this back together. Or where are the spaces for these conversations? Mm -hmm. it's, it's not Twitter. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, it's certainly not. Yeah. Well, first of all, I think the biggest mistake that we have, mm -hmm. and it's a trap that gets set by the right, whether intentionally or unintentionally, is just the frame of asking, is blank racist? That is something that we have to pull ourselves out of. It's not about asking whether Trump voters are racist. We need to talk about racism, mm. not racists yeah racists it's a very two-dimensional boring conversation is something racist yes or no and then you debate what do you it do? Right. what do you do, do you about do? that we need to talk about racism its contours its histories where it manifests how it's used because like all winning political phenomena whether they're good or bad in your opinion they rely on coalition building so Trump relied on a coalition and a core part of that coalition were racists yeah. building a coalition with all sorts of other people that could be susceptible to racist views if they were blanketed and layered and made people feel good about it not being a racist thing. Right. And so there are a lot of people who support Trump that genuinely don't believe that they are racist. Um, because we do not talk about or educate people on recognizing racism. Mm -hmm. And because we do not do that, um, it it just allows itself to just, we get caught in this debate of is something racist? And then a person uses their defensiveness and they say, well, it's not racist because I'm not racist and I believe this thing because it's economic in nature. Right.